I'm Krishna. I'm having 10 years of industrial experience working for a global MNCs as a lead cloud engineer and database architect. Also, I'm having a four years of experience in a corporate training. Hi, everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision Snowflake training program. And I'm here looking forward to share my experience here and helping you along the way the cloud technologies. Okay, here we are today to discuss on what is no cl Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse and why most of the Fortune companies are moving towards Snowflake. Okay, let's understand. I'll try to put in a layman terms with an example of taking one of the you know uh, brand called Atel Extreme Premium subscription. Okay, so moving on to the slides. So we all know Atel have a one of the premium subscription called as an ATL extreme premium subscription with OTT platforms. So we all know OTT has changed the way people view entertainment and this is very clear going by stats, right? So we all know ATL extreme premium is new and all in one OTT services that will combine the services of 15 OTT apps into one single subscription. Right. So what is the intention of here? What happened as more and more users ventures in the OTT space? So there are a lot of people are being increasing and being, you know, started watching your OTT series at OTT platforms. Right. What ATL has came up with, right? ATL has bought an all in one service that reads that need to be a multiple subscription. So people wants to get rid of the multiple subscription and ATL brought everything into your one service. That's called as an ATL extreme premium service. Okay, so taking this as an example, try to correlate with the snowflake and how it is helping the companies who wants, who is looking for the one stop solution, right? So if you see this slide, what snowflake is providing for us? If you see, there are 20 plus premium features, three public clouds, one and only cloud agnostic and one destination is none other than that it's a snowflake cloud data warehouse okay so if you see snowflake cloud data warehouse is also all in one data service like X, like atel extreme premium it's an all in one ott service even snow snowflake cloud data where he's also a all in one data service that combine all the existing unique features right multiple unique features under one roof okay you could see in this bottom uh, diagram you could see this is a solution or the company which introduced the snowflake cloud data warehouse has came up within a wide variety of features which will help all teams when i say all teams it could be a data engineering team data lake team data warehouse team data science data applications and data exchanging as well right so when you correlate the two services or the two companies, ATL with the Snowflake, right? So Snowflake also has brought up all its Unix features under a single roof where you can't find it in your different cloud areas or not on any kind of on-premise as well, right? So that's the main focus of a Snowflake cloud area data warehouse and companies are started adopting it where they can't go and shop it from a different places where they can able to shop it at a one place. Similarly, a customer no need to go and buy a Netflix, Amazon Prime, or you know some other Discovery or Hotstar, Disney. They don't need to go for the multiple single subscriptions where ATL brought up everything and landed into your one place. That's called a one-stop solution for a OTT. In a similar fashion, all the databases, data warehouses in a company where they can able to stop at a one place that's called as a snowflake cloud data warehouse. Okay, so now we understand, um, you know, correlating that, you know, ATL also will have thousand plus of movies and, um, you know, tens of, tens of OT, OTT platforms. In similar fashion, in a snowflake also, there are 20 plus of premium features. There are more than that, three public cloud services. You could see at the bottom, three public cloud services, which are famous in the market right now. So Snowflake is able to support all you know public cloud cloud areas where which is in the market. That's Azure, AWS, and GCP. Okay, and it's only one and only cloud agnostic solution, which we can't find it in anywhere else, right? So that's where a company has not need to invest its all money at a one cloud area, 
okay is snowflake if they go with the solution of snowflake their architects are a data engineers start using a snowflake they can fit this particular solution on any other cloud any cloud okay and it's a one destination you don't find this kind of cloud agnostic solution any companies can't find this cloud agnostic solution um, if else they have to go with a lot of management and a hybrid architecture of a clouds where your life makes easy at a snowflake cloud data warehouse okay so if we understand that let's move on to what are the features we get it into your snowflake right so let's try to compare with or in Airtel as well, right? So what Airtel does, right? So in Airtel, when you go to the extreme premium subscription, you will get a Netflix, you will get a Amazon Prime, you will get AHA, you will get a Disney Hotstar, okay? You will you will get a Discovery Channel. Like that, there are 15 OTT, OTT features it has given. Are 15 kinds of subscription bundled into your one area called as an extreme premium subscription, right? In a similar fashion, there are multiple features in a snowflake as well. That's called as a scaling and concurrency. You can use a virtual warehouses, complete SQL database like on your on-premise, zero management where you no need to invest anything for your infra. It will be provide you as a software, as a service, and it will be ready, readily available for you with a single account login and you can start using it, okay? All of your data, it could be any kind of data. It could be a structured data, unstructured data, semi-structured data, okay? If the data is generating from IOTs, if the data is generating from on-premise databases, ETLs, Python, Scala, Java, right? Anywhere, any kind of data, any types of files, it could be a JSON file, XML file, Avro file, Barracute file, okay? Any kind of files also can be able to you put it into your Snowflake and you can start using the data once it is, you can load the data into tables and you can use it for your business analytics and for insights, okay? All of your users, what is all of your users? Any kind of users, any kind of person, it could, he, is, he could be a data engineer, data analyst, data scientist teams, or admin teams, or people who are working on a programming. So any kind of users, okay? Any kind of roles they have. So you can use a Snowflake. Okay, Snowflake provides a flexibility that to everyone can able to dirt their hands by doing something on a Snowflake. Okay, and get a benefit out of the features providing by a Snowflake. Okay, and pay only for what you use, right? So it's not like Airtel. I don't compare with an Airtel premium. So what, because for Airtel premium subscription, you will pay upfront cost. That means you, free, you pay first and then you use it right? With Snowflake, it's not like that, okay? You pay whatever you, you are going to use only. That means if you are going to watch only Netflix and an Amazon Prime in, the, in this month, okay? So that means you, you are going to pay only for those two subscriptions, right? In a similar fashion, Snowflake also, whatever you use, whatever the features you use and how much time you are going to use, you are going to pay only for that particular time. You no need to pay upfront cost, and you know to, you no need to pay for the full editions, okay? Or the for full features, whatever you're going to use, you will get only out of it. Snowflake also have a different kinds of subscriptions, okay? Standard, enterprise, business critical, and VPS, okay? The the subscription you are going to choose at the time of account creation will be your cost will be depend on that addition as well. Right. So how you are going to choose your ATL. So if you say I am interested only with Snowflake and you know, I interested with only Netflix and Amazon Prime, then you might go within a very less edition and you will pay only for that. So similar kind of design, uh, similar kind of architectures be also been followed at a Snowflake area. OK, it has that flexibility. Whatever the edition is needed to your business, you can choose that. And whatever you choose, you pay for that. Okay, and features like a live sharing data where you want to share the data with business where they want to run some insight. You can lively can share that data with the other teams as well. Okay, so like this, like as we discussed, comparing with Airtel, as benefits as we have, uh, as benefits that we have in Airtel, in a similar fashion, when you compare with the Snowflake, you do also have a lot of features in a Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse. Okay. Moving on to the next slide, right? So the tools integration with the Snowflake in the current market. So you could see in a data ingestion. So there are plenty of tools which could be a traditional tools or which are already companies adopted it. 
which are running from a long legacy time or which are new tools like an AWS or a Snowpipe or a Kafka or Talent, whatever the newly arriving also could able to communicate with the Snowflake to inject the data. Okay, and if you see at the right side, you could see a lot of you know data accessing tools like a Tableau. Uh, you have a Power BI, Cogno, SaaS, MicroStrategy, and Snowflake related tools itself. You can use it. You can use a Snowflake UI, SnowSQL to communicate with the Snowflake, and you could um, encrypt or decrypt, or you can export and import your data into your local locations or into a cloud. So every cloud is also going to support this one. Okay, and Snowflake, you could see, right? So it's able to deal with the structured data, streaming data, unstructured data, every kind of data it deals. Okay, and also everyone will have a major concern on cloud is the security. How much security is for me to keep with my data into a cloud, right? So Snowflake is being certified with the SOC 1, SOC 2, over the networks, and it's it's been certified with a lot of lot other um, you know uh, PCCI information, PII information, health information. All this being also certified by Snowflake. Okay, and also Snowflake is very much safe to keep your data. And the NPS score, Net Promoter Score, they got feedback from the customers who are already using. They got is a 97 percentage, which is in a great state right now. Okay, so and Snowflake also provides an authentication authorization way the way you want to multi factor authentications or you want to passwordless authentications. Okay, so auditing, logging, and policy management everything you can do over a Snowflake, right? Even in this ATL as well. So, ATL also you'll have a credentials you need to authorize and you need to authenticate you want to log in there, right? So, in a similar fashion, so what and all you're watching on ATL. So everything in a similar kind of fashion, you can able to do it in a Snowflake as well. Okay, so the data classification, the data, how you are going to keep it very secure in an encrypted way or masked way. So everything is possible in a Snowflake. Right, in similar fashions, right? Even ATL, when you compare with ATL, ATL also have few highlights. And highlights is ATL Extreme app, uh, you know, um, combined the 50 Indian and the global OTTs in one, app right so we could see the atl extreme right and users will be able to experience over 10000 movies and tv shows right so they, that's a, it's a big number 10000 movies you can see because you have a lot of otts being bundled under a single subscription right in a similar fashion right snowflake also have a lot of features lot of highlights lot of unique things Right, so Snowflake Data Warehouse is a game-changing innovation to accommodate right data warehousing content in the cloud. Okay, by solving all the key challenges of kind of like a data handling or a, you know price affordability or availability, scalability, concurrency. This kind of lot of issues are there in the other cloud areas, or it could be in infrastructure management or in the on-premise database to overcome all these kind of issues. Right. Snowflake having unique highlights. I want to highlight a few things here. One is a cloud provider agnostic that you don't need to stick to any one cloud, one cloud subscription. You can go with any cloud. If you create any number of accounts, that many accounts you can go with any cloud your company is using. Or if you have a third party team using a different cloud, still you can able to use it with your account and you can access the data as well. Right and near zero administration. What near zero administration? There is nothing and a more uh, administrative stuff. No servers, no installations, no hardware, no software installed. Nothing you need to do. It's a readily available solution for you. As Snowflake will do all kind of administration for you. Okay, very great performance and speed comparing to the on premises or cloud areas. Okay, so storage and support of a structured and semi structured data. Concurrency and accessibility, the great power of accessibility provides with the usaging of the cloud. Okay, and concurrency providing a lot of warehouses power, compute resources to the companies or the projects. Right, seamless data sharing. So you can share the data with other third parties or a different teams in a company is possible in with the Snowflake. Okay, and availability 24 by 7, 365 days. Every time Snowflake is available with its great ability and the great compute engines or the compute resources it is currently providing. And the security, as I said in the previous slide, security is also Snowflake is already being certified from 
all kind of data, uh, you know, US security stuff or data security stuff like PCI, PI and HIPAA. OK, like that much more. There are different features are available in a snowflake. Unified unified data warehouse platform, OK, and for a company, it's a definitely a win proposition for customers, right? Uh, since it is a single account with a single subscription, right? And users can utilize with its unified features across all the services bundled in a Snowflake cloud data warehouse, OK? And also, if you by this time, you would have been understand, right? For a companies or for a customers, right? This is going to be a very big relief for those who are juggling between you know multiple clouds are are on premise in their country right in their in the company sorry yeah in the company right like this right um, even as i said cloud snowflake is going to be a multiple cloud areas like even atel also provides you can have the subscription or you can have this uh, ott platform can run on a either mobile tablet or a you know um, or a desktop, anywhere you do similar fashion, you can have the snowflake to be on any cloud. Also, you can play on any cloud. OK, and and let's see this slide, right? So this slide says that carriers with the snowflake cloud data warehouse, right? What carriers we have if you go with the snowflake cloud data warehouse, right? So majorly in a market, snowflake is one of the you know um, very hot cake of technology, which is People are looking to have it in their projects are people who are doing POCs who are moving into Snowflake Cloud who are going to maintain this one. OK, this kind of you know um, roles you will be seeing when you go for interviews or if you go into market to look for the you know um, interviews or positions to fill up. Right, so the positions are Snowflake data warehouse application developer, nothing but a data engineer or a data developer. OK, data modeler and architect who utilizes the unique features of who designs that uh, how to use the uh, Snowflake features or who model the data in a data world way or a stars, you know, star schema. So whatever the schema fits for the company. All right. And a Snowflake with AWS engineer, right? So who have a not bit of knowledge with the um, AWS where they can utilize all the Snowflake features integrating their with the AWS services and doing their development activities, right? So and Snowflake data analyst who runs their models and provide insights to the executives or from the campaigns teams who run the who helps them to run the business, right? So data analyst roles also you could see and the Snowflake admin teams who maintains this Snowflake accounts in a way saying that uh, you are going to have and maintain the uh, you know, resources and how people are using roles, access, and this all will be done by a Snowflake admin teams. OK, moving on to the next, right? So Snowflake training course, um, as we are into case or data vision, so we are providing a training on a Snowflake and we have started a batches and it's currently running and the new batches are starting. OK, so in this training course, we are offering you know Snowflake training and uh, on a hands-on labs, multiple use cases, projects, okay? And we will be helping through the certifications as well, okay? Including with Snowflake, the people who are newly entering into the IT area. So for those folks, we are helping them to um, you know, cope up with the SQL essential training. And we are giving an AWS services training as also to integrate with the Snowflake for a data streaming and a loading purpose. OK, to add on to that, a couple of ETLs are which are currently a third party tools we can call which are able to integrate with a Snowflake. Those those two are click replicate. How can you replicate the data from on premise or other cloud area to Snowflake or a DBT architecture fundamentals and integrating with a Snowflake, right? Database transformations and everything we will able to we will discuss in this DBT architecture as well. OK, so with that, um, I hope we have able to understand and we my slides make sense that what exactly the Snowflake and why the companies are most interested to move into the snow, you know, adopting the Snowflake cloud data warehouse with whatever the cloud services they are currently using or whatever the cloud services they want to move it and they want to work across the regions and the, across the you know continents. So Snowflake is one of the best solution they can have it in their companies and it's going definitely going to be a win proposition to the company. Okay. So I hope this slides make sense and um, definitely you'll go through this again. And if you have any doubts, you could see our number over here. You can reach out to us on a training purpose or if you have any comments as well. Thank you so much.